are here because the outside world rejects you. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another Turtle Updates video where we gather a bunch of Ninja Turtles news stories that's come out in the past few days and put it all together and discuss it in one big video. We got a lot of news today from new footage of the upcoming show, Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, a little bit of news about the upcoming Ninja Turtles comics relaunch and some really cool collectibles news. So let's go ahead, waste no more time and dive on in. So we normally start with like television or movie news first, but this one's so cool. I felt like we have to talk about this here at the top. And this is coming over here from Super 7. And you can see that they're gonna be doing a new set of Ninja Turtles Ultimates figures based off the 2003 animated series version of the Ninja Turtles. You can see right here in their post, it says, inspired by the 2003 TMNT animated series, each of the new seven inch scale, highly articulated figures of Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo feature intricate sculpting, premium paint detail, interchangeable heads, and hands as well as multiple accessories also double jointed arms and knees for more posability available to pre-order now at super7.com and you can see here on their website they are available for pre-order and we can see some more images here this one's showing a little bonus pack of heads that looks like comes with the figures you can see it says right there that pre-orders close july 30th and that the estimated shipping on these figures will be february of 2025 these look great i know a lot of fans are going to be super excited about this one this naturally leads to the next question will they do more characters from the 2003 show or just the turtles it would be cool to see the shredder in this style we'll have to wait and see if they end up doing more characters after this but yeah there you go super 7 coming out with 2003 ninja turtle ultimates let me know what you think down below in the comments let's go ahead and move on over to the next story Next up, we have some new clips from the upcoming Paramount Plus show, Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Let's go ahead and check them out real quick and then we'll break them down on the other side. Remember those heroes who saved the city? <laughs> That's us. Check out 10 seconds of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kicking butt. Let's go! Pretty good. It's the Paramount Plus original series, Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Why is it violence working? Dude, you shouldn't be so aggro. This is a regular turtle, and it's pretty cool. This is a ninja turtle, Donatello. Come and get me. He's the smart one of the crew, and he's butt-kickingly brilliant. Donnie, fix it. I'm not the IT guy. You do have that vibe. Yeah, sure. It's the Paramount Plus original series, Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We're heroes. So yeah, there you saw in that first clip, not sure who Michelangelo's talking to there, but you can see he's telling them about what they did in the movie and how they saved the city. We get a shot here of the four turtles. The stuff they're doing in those clips we've kind of seen before except for this one here with Donatello. This looks like a continuation of when he's fighting on the subway train and you can see that there are people behind him that are kind of scared of the robot that's on the train and Donatello looks to be defending them. Then we got this new shot here of Raphael swinging a chain with a piece of wood on it hitting one of the purple dragons and then this other new clip here of Michelangelo fighting what looks like a worker at the facility that he's at that we saw in a previous trailer. Looks like it could possibly be a zoo or some type of animal hospital. Then you have these new shots of Leo and Mikey fighting their robots and then this one here of Raphael tied up kicking one of the purple dragons down to the ground. You got a couple more new shots of the turtles fighting robots and then finally this one here of one of the robots falling outside of a window and this looks like a continuation of a previous scene we've talked about where Leonardo's fighting one of the robots and April's there with him. This seems to be right before a costume party that they're going to go to. And then the last new shot here in this clip is this one here of Raphael trying to beat one of the robots down with brute strength but it's not working. Working. The next TV spot here that we saw shows Donatello starting off getting mad at one of the robots before attacking it. I'm not sure what gets Donatello so pissed off here, but it must have something to do with those brothers or those humans that he's protecting there on the train. We see some additional shots here of Donatello that we haven't seen before of him fighting the robot, and you can even hear him saying, come and get me, probably talking to Bishop, who's watching him through the cameras on the robot. And then you have this new clip here of Leonardo asking Donatello to fix his phone, where you see Donatello say that he's not the IT guy. So yeah, that's all the new clips that were revealed in these TV spots. If any more drop, we'll go ahead and break those down in a separate video. But that does it for this story. Let's go ahead and move on over to the next one. All right, this next one has to do with the upcoming Ninja Turtles comic relaunch. 
For those who don't know, the IDW Ninja Turtles comics are going to be relaunching with a new issue number one in July. And here you can see a press release from IDW and you can see it says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one, 300,000 copies ordered ahead of Epic Summer Launch. And then you have some blurbs there, one from comicbook.com that says TMNT's relaunch sets the tone for another great era of Turtles comics. And then you have this blurb here from Screen Rant that says a true return to form that brings the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles back to their grunge and grit that made them the icons fans know and love today. Then further down it says, Turtle Mania has taken over the comic book industry yet again. IDW Publishing is extremely proud to share that the upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles relaunch has received the massive response from retailers and fans for its debut issue, earning more than 300,000 orders ahead of its launch on July 24th. This gargantuan number officially makes it one of the biggest comic book launches of the year. So yeah, there you go. Looks like the momentum is picking up here for this Ninja Turtles Turtles comics relaunch. This is a super exciting time to jump into the comics if you've never read them before, as it'll be easy to follow along starting here at number one. But yeah, not much else on this story. Just wanted to go ahead and share that bit of good news that has come out here. Let me know what you guys think. Let's go ahead and keep moving. All right, next we got some news about another upcoming Ninja Turtles comic, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Nation. This will be a comic running alongside the main IDW Ninja Turtles comics, and it takes place in that same IDW universe. Here you can see they revealed the release date. It's issue number one, so its first book will be coming out September 18th. And we got some more new info here in this article here on SuperheroHype.com. You can see it says the first issue of the comic will consist of two stories, the first lasting 20 pages and the second encompassing 10. Story 1 will be written by Tom Waltz and drawn by Vincento Federici with colorist Rhonda Pattinson also attached. Then Story 2 will be written by Eric Burnham with art by Matteo Santaluco and colors by Marco Lesco and Russ Wooten. Then it says later on here in the article, each arc in Mutant Nation will feature two different stories focusing on different parts of the overarching TMNT universe. So yeah, it sounds like this book will be jumping around a little bit within the universe, focusing on two different stories at a time. And then probably when those arcs are over, they'll move on to two other stories for the next arc. We have some more new info here at the bottom of the article. It says the new series is set after the events of the Armageddon game comic arc, which for those don't know was like this big Ninja Turtle story that took place right before IDW finished their initial 150 issues of the main Ninja Turtles comics, the ones that just ended. It says that the story will find a group of the iconic turtles at a crossroads trying to keep their family united while also dealing with the struggles of wanting to break apart and explore their own lives now that the world knows about mutants. So yeah, just judging off the sounds of this, it kind of sounds like the events of Mutant Nation take place in between where the initial 150 issues issues of the main Ninja Turtles comics ended and where the relaunch is beginning. But what's strange about this is that the main IDW Ninja Turtles comics will relaunch on July 24th and this Mutant Nation comic will debut in September. Now I could be misinterpreting this, but that's kind of what it sounds like. So I would just keep that in mind when reading this book. But yeah, we also got a bunch of new covers that were revealed for the book. A lot of them showing what appears to be Raphael having to deal with Metalhead in Las Vegas. So yeah, we'll see what that's about. But that's all the new info on the upcoming TMNT Mutant Nation comic. Let me know your theories down below. Let's go ahead and move on over to the next story. Next up, we got some new images here of the upcoming Ninja Turtles WWE crossover action figures. These appear to be the Wave 2 figures. Wave 1 had Roman Reigns as the Shredder, Kofi Kingston as Michelangelo, and Xavier Woods as Donatello. And now we got images of Cody Rhodes as Casey Jones, Rey Mysterio as Raphael, and Seth Rollins as Leonardo. You can see all the different pictures there and all the accessories that they'll be coming with, as well as what they'll look like in the packaging. The coolest one in my opinion here is probably the Cody Rhodes as Casey Jones. As as you can see there, he seems to be pretty excited about these figures as well. But yeah, there you go. Images of wave two of these figures. I wonder if they'll be a wave three. We'll have to wait and see. Next up, we have some new Loyal Subjects Ninja Turtles figures that were revealed. These appear to be San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. You can see that the first one up here is a figure inspired by the IDW comics version of Dark Leonardo. For those who don't know, in the IDW comics, there was a short period of time where Leonardo joined the Shredder, and this is what he looked like during that period of time. And yeah, now he's getting a figure, which in my opinion is a pretty cool addition to the Loyal Subjects Ninja Turtles line. The next Loyal Subjects Ninja Turtles figure that they revealed was this 
IDW comics inspired foot elite figure. You can see him right there with the mask and the cloak. And yeah, it looks pretty sweet. And then lastly, there's this San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Jenica that they revealed. They had already revealed her figure for just like their regular action figure line. Not sure what the difference is between that version and this Comic-Con exclusive version, as there's not too many details here on the Comic-Con exclusives, just these initial pictures that they recently posted. But yeah, let me know what you think about these. Let's move on over to the next story. All right, next up, we can see that some new Ninja Turtles 1990 movie Funko Pops have been revealed. You can see over here, we're looking at Amazon. And here we have all four turtles. You have Donatello tucking in his napkin, like we see in the movie. Raphael wearing his trench coat and hat. Leonardo doing his meditating. And then Michelangelo with his sausage nunchucks, which is actually from the second movie. But yeah, they're all part of the same continuity. So there you go. New 90s movie Turtle Funko Pops there. But they're not the only ones. Over here on the Instagram page of Rocco Cyrus, you can see a first look at a spirit splinter target exclusive funko pop and yeah it's splinter from the campfire scene in that first 1990 ninja turtles movie so yeah there you go all four turtles and spirit splinter are coming your way next bit of action figure news we have this one here from the x page of the heat boys and you can see it says new product announcement after many days of research and development and anticipation we are proud to announce that the final member of the ninja turtles family donatello will be coming soon in the future we will gradually release detailed information about donatello so let's look forward to it together and you can see right there our first look at the heat boys mecha donatello action figure if you're not familiar with these they've already done leonardo Raphael, and michelangelo and they're these really intricate figures with all these parts that portray the turtles as these big like mecha robots but yeah so far what we can see is that he's got some goggles on and that he has this big like blaster gun that he carries with him like they said in the post keep your eye out for more details on this but let me know what you think of the new mecha donatello figure Next bit of action figure news here is coming over here from NECA. You can see that they're going to be doing black and white versions of the Leonardo as the Hunchback and Raphael as the Wolfman figures. These are from the Universal Monsters Ninja Turtles crossover line. And yeah, they just recently revealed that they're going to be doing this two pack of those figures. And it looks like it'll be a Walmart exclusive. All it says in the post here is exclusive at Walmart. Check store locations for availability. So it sounds like this two pack may already be rolling out. Let us know down in the comments if you end up seeing these on the shelves. All right, this next one's pretty interesting. You can see this one's coming over here from popculturecoffee.com and you can see that they've come out with some Ninja Turtle branded coffee. First up here, you have the actual bagged coffees and it comes in four different flavors. The Turtle Power Peanut Butter Cup, which is the one with the Raphael on the packaging. Then you have the Cowabunga Coconut Caramel, which is the one with Michelangelo on the packaging. Then you have the Shell Hazelnut Cream, which is the one with Donatello. And finally, you have the Shell Shocked Sugar Cookie flavor and that's the one with Leo on it. You can also see that these flavors of coffee also come in a cold brew which come in these cool cans here with arcade graphics of the turtles on it and all of these do still appear to be available on their website so there you go all right, next up, we have this one coming over here from the NECA official Instagram page. And you can see that they've revealed the Eastman and Laird First Turtle Appearances 40th Anniversary 2-Pack. And yeah, there you have two turtles, one based off the first drawing Kevin Eastman did of one of the turtles, and the other one based off of the first drawing that Peter Laird did of one of the Ninja Turtles. You can see right there that this is a con exclusive, and it says coming to the con exclusive presale. Con exclusive presale runs from June 26th through June 28th on the NECAstore.com. So yeah, pretty sweet. You can see the figures there and you can see they come with different weapons and you can also check out the packaging right there and what it's gonna look like. But yeah, let me know what you think about this one. All right, everybody, that does it for the latest Ninja Turtles news updates. If I missed any stories, let me know down below in the comments and we'll talk about it in our next updates video. Also, make sure to check out this video here where we break down the latest Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles television show trailer. And check out this video right here where we talk about some of the new guest stars that will be on the new Tales of the TMNT show, including Pete Davidson. But thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys in a little bit with another video. Take care.